Well, a lot of people wanted to know about the drone that I used in the last video, the modular house video. And that's my brother's drone, so I really don't know much about it. Uh, I know that he uses it for work. He's a tech guy for a construction company. And I, I guess they use it to take pictures and analyze the pictures. But he's going to come by the barn here in maybe like two or three weeks. And I'll ask him a few questions. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to ask him. And also, I know that he left a comment uh, on that video that it talks about what kind of drone it is and what kind of camera. So if you really want to know, just go and look at the comments. Now today's tool is this razor knife. This is a razor knife I got at Lowe's and I think they make a very similar one that you can get at Home Depot. But what I like about this is it's just a really great design. It's the, to remove the blade, it's a simple pinch button that you can remove the blade, if one side is dull, turn it around and slide it right back in and it's good to go. Also, it's a locking blade and it's got a great little storage area for extra blades that's magnetized so the blades don't fall out. So it's just a nice little tool. I always have it around me. Uh, it's also one of the tools that I'll wear on, um, in the shop here. I generally never wear a tool bag. Uh, uh, you know, some people will wear uh, a tool bag in the shop. I never wear a tool bag in the shop and I never have. And I worked at a cabinet shop a place called The Woodworker in Wayne, New Jersey uh, in high school and, and for a couple of years after on and off. And we never wore a tool bag in the wood shop. We, I think a tool bag is really more for uh, a construction site, but you know, that's just my personal preference. So uh, this week I definitely will be building the chair. I think a couple of people were a little annoyed that I didn't work on the chair last week, but I just, I just couldn't get to it. So I'm hoping that by Friday the chair will be finished, uh, maybe not with finish, but at least built, and uh, we can take a look at that. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you then.